We have a fun episode today. We are scanning the C10 to start the wide body. These guys' names rhyme Jim and Ren with Design Works. They, uh, they got their crazy scanner. I've never actually seen that one. I'll, I'll ask them what it is, but exciting day today, aren't it? Did you just say their names rhyme? Jim and Ren. <laughs> that don't rhyme. Well, it, it kind of, it just, it has a nice jingle. No, a jingle is Christmas. Like. So we've scanned a lot of stuff. Is this one, as you scan, we'll be able to watch it in the computer? Absolutely. So as they walk around the truck scanning this, you guys will be able to see on their laptop uh, the data it's picking up. This is the missing link to the truck. I feel like we're at a good point now. And we got some exciting stuff that we're putting on the cab uh, that will actually be available um, possibly to all C10 owners that have a 1964 to 1966. But yeah, we're just going to get right in it and uh, let's get this thing in the computer and then let's get on the phone with Jesse and see what he can start doing. This is all live timing right here, huh? That's real time. So you can see he's scanning right here. And it's building the mesh. And so it, it does he only have to do one pass? Or normally. Normally. Yeah. If I get like a rough area, I'll go back in and go back over it so it smooths it out, makes it all nice and neat. Yeah, see it'll be the the huge pros and uh, cons about this is we're gonna have it in the computer and we could do anything we want the the con is we got <laughs> hours and hours of designing uh, but that's where Jesse comes in uh, you guys haven't met Jesse but I'm gonna bring him on after we're we're done with this but this is I would say is for sure one of the most important pieces of the puzzle right here because without having the truck and the computer it's very hard to do things what will be nice too is now that they're scanning I did want to build something around the blower, so maybe we could figure something out like that, or I don't know. There's there's just a lot of possibilities. What what does this one cost? Yeah. <laughs> this one is close to probably a hundred thousand dollars. Hundred cheese? Holy cow! Yeah, if you guys want when you're done, just go ahead and uh, leave it here. I'll I'll take good care of it. <laughs> you can see it starting on the computer. That makes no sense. We need one. Yeah. We would scan everything. Well, technically it's in our shop. If we just booted them out of the shop, it'd be ours. You guys got to leave? We got insurance. <laughs> <laughs> Seaton Slayer is built up of many different experts and um, just the crazy visions of my dad and I wanting to have one truck that is so crazy. Now, while you guys are watching the scan in uh, the video right now, uh, it that's the very first step. The first step is get it scanned, get it in the computer, and then um, from there, we have some partners that we've worked with. And there's three that I'm gonna point out that are very important. The first one is Yassad Design. I'll pull up Yassad's profile right now. And as you guys are looking at his account, Yassad just designs insane renderings uh, for people around the world. And, uh, but most of them are not real. And that's what makes C10 Slayer and in the past, the performance truck very unique because you have the, this crazy render that almost looks fake, but it's a real truck. And that's why the C10 Slayer is gonna be as crazy as, as what it's turning out to be. The second person is Jesse with Star Creation. Jesse is a designer and very good at what he does. And uh, we're gonna take Yassad's render that I can't show you guys yet to Jesse. And Jesse has to make it actually uh, work with, with in real life. So the tires go up, the tires turn, make sure all the body lines work, everything like that. The last most important person at the end of the step is my buddy John with Advanced Fiberglass Concepts. Cause John, what he's gonna do is he's gonna take um, all these crazy ideas that we came up with and the file that Jesse draws with those ideas. And he's actually going to get massive, huge chunks of foam and machine all the fenders out of foam. And that is going to be the base mold. And then he's gonna pop fiberglass off of that 
and that is gonna be our fender, that's gonna be our front splitter, our rear fenders, all the looks of the truck. So it's a very important process, uh, but anyway, this, we'll get back to the video, but this is uh, all the people it takes to make something wild. So it's pretty cool to see everyone team up and work together. Just, it's really exciting to see how this process is done. Uh, when we did the Tacoma with Tech Consulting, those guys uh, had a scanner as well. And um, for those of you that followed the build on this, it was kind of, uh, you know, it was a long, long process. That whole truck was hand built. I'm just really excited because on the C10 now, now we could really start showing you guys what we're gonna start doing in the bed, in the front of the truck. Uh, when they're all done, I'll show you what it looks like and then um, we'll turn it in the computer, things like that, and then I'll uh, call our designer and see what we can start doing. So what you guys are looking at right now, this is the full scan of C10 Slayer. And what's important about this scan is now we could take this and take all of our collective designs and uh, actually form something that is gonna be a real life fender. And uh, when we're all done with designing this truck, uh, and everything is fully machined, we're gonna be able to just bolt these fenders or glue these fenders onto the truck. And uh, you guys will be able to see exactly what that looks like here pretty soon. I think we're about wrapped up. So how much data and, and everything was that? About 300 million points. <laughs> 300 uh, <laughs> million points? About um, 8 million triangles. And you know we're, we're gonna just go back, look through the data, clean it up a little bit and get it over to your design guy. And, see what he can do with it. So with, with what you guys did today, is there a lot of work to do to get it ready, like to my design guy? No, very little. Oh, very really? Little. Just gonna try to dial it in, just put the fi final touches on it and send it out to him and let him do his thing, make y'all some sick fenders for this thing. Oh, that's it's awesome. Not, it's not a point cloud, it's a mesh. We it's a mesh. We are one of the very few companies in the world to build a mesh. Okay. So we don't have lots to clean up and put the files together. It's ready to go. So basically, I think what he just said is I found the right guys. <laughs> Jim and Red, no, these yeah. guys, these guys killed it. Thank you guys so much Absolutely for coming. I'm stoked to be a part of the project. Oh this yeah. Is, this is a lot of fun. So. See, that's what makes you so good. You're funny too, you make stuff funny. <laughs> you gotta make it funny. I know, you know we're more engineering guys. Yeah. This is the scanner, today we make a scanner. You know, you're funny, like, yeah. I think yeah. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a nerd, so. No, know, this it, is it doesn't just flow off my tongue like yeah. it does yours. Well, <laughs> it, it takes, uh, I always say this, and I've been taught this since I've been a, a baby, you know, it takes everyone to have something awesome. 100%. So it's like, you know, I could fabricate on this truck, I could build it all day, but, if I didn't find you guys with, with the scan equipment, there's no way we could do the fender. So this is, I mean, it, it, again, now you guys are a part of it and it'll even be more fun when it's done. All right, guys, well, thank you guys for watching. Uh, the next episode uh, in the future is gonna be when we're actually designing this bad boy from all their files. So stay tuned, have a blessed day, and uh, we'll be talking to you guys.